Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you? Fine. Thank you. How's everything? How's it going? All right. We had a party in the in the weekend. Ooh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Somebody else did something else <laughs> that we can know. <laughs> yes, um, okay, uh -huh. uh, because here uh, it's raining. Really Everybody, hi. But it's a uh, soft, soft. Yeah, it's it's a soft rain, right? Uh, yes, soft rain. Uh huh. Here as well. Here's uh, is really. it's kind of drizzling only, like drops of rain hi hi everybody how are you hello, hello? Uh, yesterday was raining very very hard uh, and i and i received all the rain in my really <laughs> oh my god I yesterday uh, it rained at noon, was, right? About yes. 11. Mm -hmm. And just today I was. Yeah, there are some problems, yeah. I think, with the connection, mister. Yeah, we couldn't uh, hear you very well. Mary, uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, Yes, I think uh, there are some issues with the connection. It was your birthday yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Oh my God, happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, Nanika. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to, you. to you. Happy birthday, Here happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Woo. Ooh, and the cake. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very kind. Yeah, I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Besides the rain. <laughs> yes. But in some places it was nice that it rained because after the rain, the weather was nice, beautiful, cool, not that hot. Because these days before had been, I mean, had been very, very hot. Yeah, after the rain, it's a little bit cooler, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome to a new week in the last <laughs> in the last class. The last week. Oh, yes. yes. The last three classes we're having Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday only. And that's it. Really and this was intense, right? Because we were having classes from Monday to Friday. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but okay. you're gonna rest and relax this Friday, okay? Okay, yes. no worrying. Well, let's see. Let's see how much we studied over the weekend <laughs> and how much we remember how to use the Unreal conditions. Okay, so Unreal Conditionals by Creating Sentences. Nice. So definitely, we're going to review what we started, what we started studying last Friday. So we're going to continue practicing with Unreal Conditionals. Of course, remember that since it's an imaginary situation, we need the verb in past, in the if clause, right? And after the if clause, we need a comma when writing, of course. When speaking, we don't say anything. We just make a pause, right? Kind of pause. And if we use it the other way around, we use it the inverted form. So we use the result clause at the beginning. We don't use a comma, right? So those are the punctuation rules for this structure. Uh -huh. This is not a conversation itself, but it's sort of a conversation. We have this column here with the if, 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 if you noticed. Yeah. And then we have the result here, right? So let me get something from my spotlight. I love my spotlight. All right. 
As I was mentioning, we have the if clause here. If I found, if I saw, if I found, if, I found, if the teacher, <clears throat> if the teacher, <laughs> if I locked, <laughs> if I won, right? If I found a burglar in my home, oh, that would be difficult. Finding a burglar means that you find that person that enter your house without your permission and is stealing your thing is robbing your things right so for example i had a friend who had a vulgarized house and she supposed that it was because um a person that used to work with them probably gave the key because there was nothing there was not a window broken there was not a forced door there was nothing but they entered the house and they stole cash and they stole valuable things like jewelry and i don't remember what else probably computers antiques. So, excuse me antiques or something like that yeah valuable things yes i i remember but that mm -hmm. happened a long time ago thank god after that they they reinforced the the security of the house and everything so if i found imagine you come to your house and you find a strange person a stranger inside who is robbing your things who's stealing your things right okay. if i saw <laughs> yes that's a burglar if you saw someone shoplifting, mm, this is kind of heavy, you know, because it happened to my cousin many times. I don't think I, uh, I am very cautious with this because when I go shopping, I go shopping and I am in my own business, but I don't care what other people are doing. But my cousin said that she once saw that somebody was shoplifting a pair of shoes and then in another in a supermarket then she saw somebody else shoplifting for something else and i don't know what other objects okay so it's when you go to a store and that you see that another that another person is trying to steal something yes any objects from the shop that is shoplifting but i think now most of the stores have cameras like the security cameras and whenever somebody's trying to shoplift in something they uh get arrested or they get caught and they and they take the things i suppose all right so that is shoplifting if i found seventy thousand dollars on the street that's easy to understand if the teacher gave me an a in this case it would be like if the teacher gave me a 10 on a test by mistake and i don't have a 10 right because that is the like the highest the perfect score if I locked myself out in my house, this happened to me. Uh, when you lock out of your house is when you leave the keys inside. And then when you come home, you're like, uh, now how do I enter? That is locking yourself out. And it's hard when you don't have a copy of the key or the person who has the copy is not near and you have to call and blah, 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 right? If I won a million dollars in a lottery, so these are the if clauses, and these are the result clauses. I break a window to get in. I could think of ways to invest it. I might not tell anybody. I probably call the police. I guess I might spend it. I might tell a sales clerk. Sales clerk is a person who works in a shop or in a store. Okay. Yes. I run to my neighbors for help. I could get a set of keys from my friend, okay? So you're gonna discuss with your partner which is the second part. Yes, for number one can be letter A, B, C, D, E, F. So you are reading the if close and then you are matching, okay? With the possibility, okay. yes, on the result clause. Is this clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, it is, all right. Let's see, let's make three groups. Yes, in three groups you can discuss perfectly which you think. I'll send you the image, don't worry. Hello to the new participant. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> to the people that you just joined. <laughs>
Well, in the first one, I don't know. If I found a burglar in my home, I think it's letter D. I probably call the police. I call thing letter B. I you probably call, call the police. The police. D. I yeah. probably call the police. Yes, number one is B. Uh, in the number two. Uh, if I saw someone shoplifting, Shop. I guess I might. If where? I might tell a service clerk, I think. That number, uh, the little, little E. No. E. F. 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 I. The number second. Yeah. If if soft lifting, soft lifting. Uh, what do you mean, soft lift lifting? Soft lifting is como robarse las cosas de una tienda como oh. así esconderlas mm. y llevárselas sin pagar mm. uh -huh. thank you for helping no problem okay. I'm meeting so Exceso de velocidad. Yeah. A ver. If I saw something. Maybe. Maybe letter D too. Mm -hmm. I'd probably call the police. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the next one three is probably uh, um, the B. I call things and wise to investigate. Hmm. Of wise to investigate. For number two. Yes. I call things. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, number three, if I found... So no. if I thought... Uh, for number three, maybe, maybe the letter B is for number three. Uh, letter B, right? Letter B or letter E. I guess I might spend it. Or learn. Oh, yes. <laughs> I guess I must spend it. The two. The next one. If the teacher e gave me an A on the test by mistake, uh, <laughs> this, the letter C. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Huh? Yes. That's right. Uh huh. Entonces, the number six is. Uh, six, uh, is uh, the, the D. D. No, D, D. no. No, no, it's, it's in D. D is for number ah, three. No, no, no. Uh, six I might. Is, is a letter E. I guess I yes, might. I might expensive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we should uh, change the the number three. Uh -huh, number, the number three. Number three. If, if I found I, seven, I uh -huh. the police. 
uh, is the letter B. Mm -hmm. Okay. A, B, C, B. Okay. 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 Uh, I could think of ways. Um, um, the number one, if uh -huh. I found a burglar, burglar, uh -huh. what is <laughs> A burglar, burglar in my home, burglar. Bur yes. Yes, uh, if I found a ladrona in my home. <laughs> number G. I, Letter I, G. I, I, number B. I could think of, G, G, of, G. of, of ways two. to invest it. No, I, I used to. I would run to my neighbor to help, for help. I think I too. Run to my neighbor. Letter G. Okay. You are right. Okay. I think uh, it, it use, uh, we are use both because in the letter is eight and the number only six. Mm. Maybe maybe one, um, we are used two letter. Two no. option over. We have two option over. Yes, I think. No, mm -hmm. number five is maybe two. Hi, everybody, come back. Yes? Yes, teacher. All right. Let's see. Match the closest from column A with the ones from column B, right? <laughs> with the information from column B. More than one answer may be possible, okay? For some of the... If closes, we have more than one possibility. That's what it says. More than one answer may be possible. Okay. What, let's see, what possibilities you found? Okay, if I found a burglar in my home, uh huh. A, I could break a window to get in. <laughs> I could think of a way to invest it. Wrong to my own. I might Maybe not tell anybody. Okay, I might run to my neighbors for help. Hey, yeah. If I have brave neighbors, <laughs> because if I have cowards neighbors, I wouldn't tell them anything. <laughs> or, wow. Is there, I'd probably is, call the police. I'll probably call the police, right? That's another possibility. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> let's say we have two possibilities, okay? More than one answer may be possible. If I saw someone shoplifting. I might tell a sales clerk. I might tell a sales clerk. Is there any other possibility? I might not tell anybody. That's what we usually do, right? With the, I'll, probably probably call the police. I'll probably call the police if somebody's shoplifting. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Mm, no. If the store is mine, oh, I call, yes. I will call the police. <laughs> but if it's not mine, I I probably not tell anybody. I don't mind. <laughs> right. That's what usually happens when we see somebody mm -hmm. shoplifting. And then we say, I might not tell anybody, you know. Probably it was just a candy. It was just a, a bag of chips or something. We say, I might not tell anybody. <laughs> All right. If I found $70,000 on the street. I will probably call the police. I guess I might spend it. I might spend 
<laughs> or am I call the police? So, a new house. I might, be I might buy a new be. house. <laughs> I could think of ways to invest it. Uh huh. That's, That's another not, possibility. Right. I might, I might call the police as well. <laughs> I'll probably call the police. Mm -hmm. All right. If the teacher gave me a 10 on a test by mistake, I might not tell anybody. <laughs> uh -huh. I might not tell anybody. I might not tell anybody. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that would be another possibility. <laughs> okay. Another yeah. one? No? If I locked myself out of <laughs> my house, <laughs> I would break a window to get in. I, uh, yeah, I would break a window to get in. Uh -huh. I could get a set I of keys from my friends. Uh -huh, another one. I could get a set of keys from my friends, right? You mm -hmm. usually give a set of keys, the copies oh. of your house, to a friend <laughs> in case or you lock I out. Run, I run to my neighbor for help. And that could be. I run mm -hmm. to my neighbor for help. Sometimes the, the neighbors know. Uh, Hi, how neighbor. to jump I'm from... hungry, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or let me stay in your house until somebody comes with your keys. I mean, with my keys, right? Yeah, that happened to me. And a nice neighbor let me stay in her house. Uh-huh. There's another one. All right. And if I won a million dollars in the lottery, I guess I might spend <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Nobody yes, uh -huh. <laughs> and I probably okay. I could think of ways to invest it as well, right? That's another part. I don't know to pay uh, the the debts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, probably. Or you can find another way, right? That's what it says. Okay, you can add your own information. Yes, to the closest. How would you finish these sentences, right? So you already have some uh, creative way to finish these sentences, right? Okay, so that was a great exercise. Thank you. I might clear everything right now. All right. Is there any question? Do you have any question? So no. far? No. So far, so good. All right. So. Uh, okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, what meaning uh, shoplifting? Shoplifting. It's when you take something from a store, but you don't want to pay for that. Probably you put it in your pocket. Okay. Or in your bag. <laughs> Probably we never have done that. But there are some people that shoplift. It's like to store. It's still, right? It's still. No. Still. Yes, oh, okay. no violence, okay. but without being seen, right? Without oh, okay. anybody to see. So they try to shoplift without paying. Right. They That's take... mean, mean this. Yes, <laughs> but shoplifting usually for a small object. If I saw someone. Uh -huh. Usually uh, happens okay. uh, in this uh, in supermarkets uh, or in uh -huh, in uh, grocery uh, stores. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> but no valuable things because valuable okay. things would be a robbery. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no more. Only that. That's Thank all. You. All no right. More. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. If you found a valuable piece of jewelry in a park, if you were on vacation overseas and lost all your money and credit cards, this means in a very far away country, okay? Imagine in Hawaii, in Thailand, in Japan. So you are overseas. So that's why it says, imagine, use your imagination. <laughs> what do you think you would do or might do in these situations? You found a valuable piece of jewelry, like the example, like the picture, right? In a park. You were on vacation overseas and lost all your money and credit cards. You saw two people fighting in the street. Yeah, this is very common in El Salvador. 
you discover <laughs> and you do nothing. <laughs> you discover your best. Oh no, your friend. Sorry, not your best. Your friend has a drinking problem. Mm. If someone stole your clothes while you were swimming at the beach. Hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> this happens. Yeah. Or a friend borrowed money from you and didn't return it. Oh, this is another common situation. Mm -hmm. Yes. What would you do if you found a valuable piece of jewelry in a park? You say, oh, if I found a valuable piece of jewelry in a park, I would probably take it. I would probably keep it. I would probably try to find the owner. I would probably wait <clears throat> until somebody comes. So use different possibilities, right? Because it's choose three of these best suggestions okay that's what we're gonna do later let's see who has the best suggestion to this exercise to do this exercise of course we're gonna make a smaller group we're gonna make different groups let me see we are gonna recreate the groups and we're going to create four groups okay let me see mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Okay, what do you what do you do think you want to do or might do the situation? Okay. Um, in my case, in the number one, if I found a valuable piece of Jewelry in a bar, I go to what do you say, vendor, salt. So I, I go to salt and buy the the shoes and clothes and maybe go to eat on the restaurant. In my case. And you was in no, and me, Basilia, I if I found a value piece of dollar in a park, I I go to what is solve the the dollar. Well, uh... Um, you were on the vacation over says the receipts on the loss of your money for money <laughs> okay. For me. okay Resinia mm -hmm. um, the second um, what would you do if you were on vacation overseas and lost all your money and credit cards. Carla? Oh, I, I think um, call the police uh, for the help for, for the other person because it's not mine. <laughs> Only that, uh, for example, Luis, um, what will you do if you were, no, you sound if I, if two I look, people flying in the street? Uh, fighting, fighting. I will leave, her, leave them to fight. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. yeah. So you, okay. if, if you don't know, uh, you fight too. <laughs> better leave <I> alone them. <laughs> okay. Huh? I don't know. I I think that I probably called the police or another person for separating the people. The but people but fight. right now in the cell phone, uh, maybe uh, the video. And Take the, the video. <laughs> Take the <laughs> video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, maybe. Okay. okay. Number four. In the other one, you saw you saw two people fighting in the street. Mm. <laughs> uh some people. I think maybe if they are a couple, I I would go to my my house because always they they. Um, Result or problems. Yeah. Their problem. I think um I will probably let let it slide, I think. Uh, because it will be dangerous to get involved. Or I would call to the police to, to, to help to help to, to help him yes i to help him but uh, that is very uh, difficult to help um when the people have to problem with the drinking, with drinking. yes yes that is a Catric problem, chronic problem. I think I give the way uh, to, to um, <clears throat> buscar, como dice buscar? Look. To find, look to find or look for look, uh, help for, by themselves. Looking for her, uh, yes. Yeah. For someone. Look how, look. Okay. In the number in the second. Uh, teacher. Uh, Tell me. The pronunciation of the, uh, the jewelry. No, jewelry. No. <laughs> kind jewelry. of jewelry. 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 Yes. Jewelry. Jewelry. Okay. All right. All right. Uh -huh. You saw two people in the fighting in the trip. Maybe I, I call in the police or then, or I will, maybe I, I separate, separate the, the people and not fight, fighting. Yo creo que ahí estamos. I am run away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you, Basilia, uh, you, you, uh, maybe I, uh, you friends borrowed money from you and friends borrowed money from you and didn't return it. Um, Carla. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I never talked to 
to him or to her. Because uh, I think that uh, he or she is stolen my money with a with a, a shipping story or something like that. Okay. And you, Carla? Uh, repeat the question, please. Uh, what would you do if a friend borrowed money from you? and didn't return me. Oh, um, complicated, but I didn't return. Uh, but they call the police for, for return the, the, the money. And it's, it's, it's not probably return, but um, anyway, I got to the 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 clothes the buy the clothes or the car I don't know but um, the first auction for me is forever is called the police but it's not my money okay you Claudia all right uh, it's a friend never return my money? Mm -hmm. uh, first, hmm. first, uh, my, I never trust an her or her. Yes, I would tell her to tell her or him to give me the money, but I don't know. I might to speak maybe with his or her family to pay. Mm, if 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 it's a a big uh, quantity of of money. Yes, it's a good option. I will tell him that he he is not married. My friend. Yeah. But it's a very dedicated dedica situation. <laughs> yeah. I don't recommend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me too. Yeah. And it's. It's. A uh, big problem if you don't sing a paper when just the palabra, how do you say the palabra? Yeah. <laughs> Word. But, but <laughs> Probably just agree without signing any legal paper, right? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. What? Hi. Finish. Yes, done. Done, done, done. Don, 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 don. <laughs> We're, done. Don, don. We're done. All right. Great. Calor. No calor. It's hot. Yeah. San Juan Manualco, La Paz. <laughs> oh, yes. La Near the beach. Near the wow. coast. <laughs> yeah. At the airport, it's very hot, too. Very 
uh, near the, the coast, the sea, but a lot of hot. Yeah, it's too hot. All right. If you found a valuable piece of jewelry in a park, any creative, ah. uh -huh, any creative resolution, <laughs> I would. I will. I will wait for the person if uh, he or she uh, returns to found it. To find it. To look for it. Find it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Any other? I heard very creative, very creative possibility. I will run away. I will run away. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe another, another person I, I, I sold. You'll sell it. <laughs> You'll run to a, to a jewelry store to sell it and to get some cash. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you were on vacation overseas and you lost all your money and credit cards, um, I call to the bank to block uh, the the, cards. the the uh huh the credit cards and then I call my husband to <laughs> lend me a, to send a lot of money. <laughs> Yeah, I will call the bank first to block my credit cards and then I will call somebody to give me some money, to send me some money. Now it's easier to send some money, right? Because you, yeah. with the bank account, you can send money. There she will wallet. Exactly, you can even get bitcoins. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, if you saw two people fighting. I can say the pupusas. Fighting in the streets. If they are my friends or my or um, someone I know, someone I know, I probably uh, go to the separated or uh, peace and love. <laughs> peace and love. <laughs> try to but, separate and try to calm them. I don't. But I don't know them. Uh, I don't mind. Yeah, I, I wouldn't go, do I wouldn't I do anything. Yeah, I would just yeah. I recover in the street. Mm -hmm. It depends. Then you would say it depends. If I know the people who are fighting, I would do something about it. But if I do if I don't know them, I would just walk away. All maybe, right. Maybe I call the police. Maybe I would call the police. Mm -hmm. yeah. or any authority right anybody uh, nearby okay or if you this yes uh, i don't know all right if you discover that your friend has a drinking problem mm. um no i have i, I have. Mm. I give him, I give him the way to find help with a doctor. <laughs> mm -hmm. With a psychiatrist. <laughs> with a psychology. Uh -huh. and, uh, I would therapy. recommend, yes, probably, uh -huh. I would recommend a professional, right? To treat him or her. To so, have a desintoxication first <laughs> to start, uh huh. But it's really hard, really hard. I remember uh, we long, long, long time ago. I used to have a friend that we didn't know, but when she got home, she used to lock her. Well, she used to live herself in an apartment, and she used to get lots of drinking, mm -hmm. and once she disappeared for one week and we were really worried really worried she lost a lot of weight because she didn't eat in a week probably no but I thank know. yeah thank god she recovered it's a serious problem it is very serious yes if someone stole your clothes while you're swimming at el coco beach <laughs> 
Oh no, my my cousin once got it stolen, but I remember when they had the digital cameras. She lo she left it on the on the on the sandals on the beach, and when she returned, there was nothing there, not even the sandals. <laughs> so what would you do? Um, uh, probably, uh, I lend me or borrow. Yeah, you borrow, will borrow, first borrow first. them, mm -hmm. borrow them some out, out of my clothes or my towel <laughs> or my <laughs> pyjama. <laughs> your shirt, <laughs> your swim is go home. home. <laughs> All right. Yeah, probably would buy something else. Yeah, would probably oh, yeah. borrow from a friend, right? It would be a bit, a bit uncomfortable, actually. If a friend borrowed money from you and didn't return it, you would lose your friend and your money. <laughs> that usually happens, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any creative resolution? <laughs> um. Oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, that's difficult. Somebody else, somebody else. Uh huh. Me. This is a predicament. Actually, it happened to me. I had that personal experience. He, he wasn't like my friend, it was my brother's friend, but he was in a difficult situation and he asked for money. He borrowed money from me, but then he just disappeared. <laughs> That's what I say. Mm -hmm. You lose your money and you will lose your friend too. Yeah, probably the person wouldn't wouldn't uh, talk to you anymore, right? Okay, great. Well, is there any question about the use of unreal conditionals? Imaginary situations? We imagine if that happens now in the present, right? But we need the very past because it's something unreal. There is something that is not happening, but we imagine if that happened, right? right. Is there any question? No, teacher. Sure. How was, how was no, the time when you did this type of exercises in the platform? Was it difficult for you? Mm. A little difficult. A little difficult. You have to you have to remember to put the verb in past and then put the auxiliary would, my, may, for probability. Okay, or for possibility actually. All right, perfect. Okay, well we still have some time for another exercise. All right, here we go. We just finished with this one. Uh huh. Let me get something from right here. Let me put this right here. Just one minute, please. Uh, here we have the text. And we're going to move this as well. So if I lost the tennis match, I would be disappointed. Mm -hmm. okay. How would you complete the second one? If you, if you, if you enter. enter. Uh -huh, the verb goes to enter it. Wait a minute. It did. Uh -huh. If you it's entered, it's right? Entered. In past simple. If you enter in our enter competition, a, a, our competition, competition, you will win. You won. Mm -hmm. You will. You will. You uh, will win. Will win. Will win. Yes. It's so when you say, "Oh, you are very good." So if you enter in our competition, you would definitely win. Yes? Remember, we need an auxiliary here. Would, may, my. Okay? Here, we don't have if. The if is at the end. Yes? Figure out the math problem if we... Mathemat mathematicians. If we... We don't have yes. if here. We have the result at the beginning of the sentence. We have the if at the end, right? This is inverted form. The other way around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We would 
figure, figure out. We will figure out. Figure out. What's the meaning of figure out? Discover. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. We would figure out the math problem. So we would solve the problem if we were if we were if we were mathematicians yes if we were mathematicians we would figure out the math problem it would be easy for us to solve the problem the math problem if if she auditioned uh -huh. audition. oh, oh i think oh Auditioned. Is that correct? Or I am I is spelling? Uh, I have an extra C. I'm sorry. If she auditioned, all right, for the show, she will be. She will, uh, get, she will get the part, or she might. Yes, she might get. She could she would get the part so this means when you are going to auditions for a movie for example or for a show you say if i audition i would get the part i would get the role yes uh-huh this is inverted they blah 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 confuse if the same they 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 work they, mm, they were confused. They might the be confused. They could be. They could mm -hmm. be. Could be, might be. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Those are possibilities, right? I'm going to put both. My cool. or may. Exactly. Actually, could as well. Could be confused. This is something similar to what is happening in San Salvador right now. <laughs> okay. They might could or may be confused may if the city were deserted. Were deserted, right? That means that the things that used to be there are not there anymore, right? So they might be, they could be, they may be, they would be even confused if the city were deserted. Uh -huh. If Angie walked, uh -huh. walked, walked. Well, if Angie walked on a dangerous bridge, on a dangerous bridge, she might. She might, My they guess. could, would get hurt, right? So all the other possibilities, my, may, could, would get hurt. All right, that's great. That's awesome. Is there any question regarding this? Or we're fine? Fine. 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 Great. Let's see. All right. Let me see something else, something else. Hold on. One minute. All right. What's next? What's next for tomorrow? Anybody has any idea? What's the next topic after the unreal conditionals in present? uh-huh how familiar are you with the topics with the platform oh by the way they they send a reminder right for the ones that haven't done it yet the verbs describing events uh-huh could be An antonyms antonyms right antonyms, antonyms <laughs> are opposites opposites remember okay those are antonyms. Synonyms are two words that mean similar, same, right? Yeah. So this is something we're going to talk about tomorrow. What else? 
Any other idea? All right, down to the bottom. And um, the past models. Aha, uh -huh. we're gonna use past models as well. You say, oh no, models are always in present and future. No, oh, no. we're gonna use past models. <laughs> so we have two classes. To, to <laughs> yes. improve our uh, grammar, structures, um, vocabulary. Yes. yes, definitely. We have two classes. Bye, bye, bye. Yes, to cover these other two topics, okay? So it's time. It's time to go. All right, perfect. <laughs> have a good night. Rest. Okay. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.